Hello, I'm David Eads with a summary of the BBC World News. Donald Trump has announced additional tariffs on all goods from Mexico. He said a 5% tariff will be imposed in June because of Mexico's failure to stop migrants entering the US. But he added that would rise to 25% unless the illegal immigration problem, as he called it, is remedied. The Mexican president has criticised the measure and called for talks. From Washington, Chris Buckler. Donald Trump has long claimed that Mexico could do more to stop migrants from illegally crossing over into the United States, and he's done nothing to hide his frustration. But it's not just people who cross this border every day. It's a huge amount of trade, and the president believes that offers an opportunity to put pressure on the Mexican government. In a post on Twitter, he said on June the 10th, the US would impose a 5% tariff on all goods coming into the country from Mexico. And he warned the tariff would gradually increase to up to 25% by the 1st of October. Tariffs have become a favorite weapon of President Trump. He's used them in his ongoing trade battle with China to some concern on the stock market. Certainly Mexican officials are warning that they will retaliate and that's sure to test cross-border relationships once again. Chris Buckler, BBC News, Washington. Scientists in Burkina Faso and the United States have used genetic engineering to develop a new way to stop the spread of malaria. The researchers have enhanced the fungus using a toxin found in a species of spider so that the fungus then kills the mosquitoes that carry the disease. In trials, it has reduced mosquito populations by more than 99%. Uh, some other stories for you. Police in Hungary have arrested the captain of a ship which crashed into a smaller tourist boat on the River Danube in Budapest. The 64-year-old Ukrainian national was held on charges of reckless misconduct. At least seven people died. 21 are still missing. A rescue operation is well underway. The singer R. Kelly has been charged with 11 more counts of sexual assault and abuse by prosecutors in Chicago. He'll appear in court next week. Earlier this year, he was accused of 10 offences involving four women, three of them under age at the time the events are alleged to have happened a decade ago. And Sicily's Mount Etna has been erupting overnight with bursts of hot lava lighting up the sky. Seismic activity on the mountain started to increase on Thursday with these huge emissions of smoke and ash peaking overnight with lava flows and explosions of magma. Etna, of course, is Europe's most active volcano, spectacular eruptions several times a year. That's a summary of BBC World News. The start of a fascinating two-part series now on BBC World News following British broadcaster and bee enthusiast Martha Carney through her beekeeping year. She's battling bad weather and the threat of a virus that could wipe out the colony in part one of The Great Bee Adventure. The Honey...